Hi, everybody. So today we're going to use a finishing technique called glazing. But what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take my five inch by five inch piece of watercolor paper and I'm going to do something that I start a lot of my classes with uh, and that I like to use just as a warm up. I'm going to do a timed collage. I've got five minutes set on my timer and I have just a small little stack of of papers here to choose from. And so I'm going to create a little five minute collage and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I apply a glaze to a collage to, to kind of unify it, give everything the same patina. Uh, it's a really nice technique for finishing. So five minutes on the clock. I don't overthink a lot when I do a five minute collage. I just pick something and get started. Uh, I have some uh, gel medium, have some scissors. I'll probably be doing a lot of ripping, but I just want to get something down without overthinking it. So I'm going to start the timer for five minutes.
Okay, time's up. And so this is what I've created, my little five-minute collage. And I'm going to set my papers aside. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to uh, create a glaze effect over that. I think everything's glued down pretty well. Uh, so what I'm going to use is golden satin glazing liquid this is this is the key and then you can add any color you like i work with a lot of vintage papers so i really like the effect of glazing with raw umber sometimes and so i need that and a brush and some paper towels and so i'm going to take a little bit of the satin glazing liquid. It's only a five inch by five inch piece, so I don't need a lot. And so that's about the size of a quarter. And just a little bit of the raw umber. A couple drops. And any kind of brush will do. Just gonna mix this up. What glazing liquid does is it extends the drying time of this paint. So mix that up good. And this is the scary part. I'm going to apply it over the entire collage. Just brush it on over the entire collage. And you go, oh my gosh, Kelly, we've ruined it. But the glazing liquid extends the drying time. So I can go in with a paper towel and I can start wiping it off. And I can, can wipe it, you know, as hard or as lightly as I would like. I can go in a a buffing kind of round motion. Or I can just go off the edges. Ultimately, what it's going to do is give all of those different papers the same kind of an aged patina. And it's also going to accentuate some of these torn edges. So they're going to make it, you know, really kind of kind of stand out. And that's it. That is a glazing technique using Golden's Satin Glazing Liquid. And in this case, I used raw umber.